you surprised to see us so soon? Are you surprised to see Double or Nothing and then Wheel of Mutt? You should be because it's never happened before, number one. Number two, I was going to take a break from Wheel of Mutt. My initial game plan was Wheel of Mutt, then Double or Nothing, and then Wheel of Mutt. Kind of switch them on and off. And then I realized something. I was starving, you guys. Like, literally starving. That Super Bowl took me like 10 days to post. And I actually felt horrible. I saw all your comments. I know the boys want Wheel of Mutt. And I'm insanely excited about Double or Nothing 2. So fuck it. We're doing both. But let's do it, baby. We got a brand new fully wiped 70 overall team. A clean slate. A new yeah! roster. A new Super Bowl ring to acquire. More cheeks to clap. And I think most importantly, we have a lot to talk about. The number one thing that we need to talk about is our precision prestige player. Now, I'm going to pull up a picture of offense and defense from the end of last season. Ty, if you just want to take a screenshot or something, you can easily grab it. Who do you think I prestiged? I would be shocked if any of you guess it. I'm taking an absolute bizarre Hail Mary curveball on our prestige player for the first season of Wheel of Mutt. And I won't lie, this was the most difficult prestige decision I've ever had to make. There were so many options and none of them were incredible off the bat. Sometimes it's obvious there's a 95 overall card in the game and I've got the 80 overall. Let's prestige. But I wasn't there. It felt like every player that I could prestige was just speculative. Like maybe they'd be a good prestige if they keep playing well. I'll tell you who I was deciding between. There was Foyasada Luwakan, Matthew Judon, Chase Young, Robert Quinn, Jerome Bettis, Tony Gonzalez, Frank Ragnow, Jason Kelsey, and Trey Smith. I weighed all my options. And finally, I landed on Jason Kelsey as my prestige player. I know it seems a little underwhelming. You guys have seen a lot of Wheel of Mutt and a lot of God Squad players. Let me tell you why I chose Jason Kelsey. Tony Gonzalez, I didn't like. You guys saw so much of him. I want to get a different tight end. Jerome Bettis, I didn't like because I have a halfback that I want to get on this squad and it's not Jerome Bettis. Trey Smith was an 89 overall right guard. That could have been a very good option, but I feel like the ability for Trey Smith to get another really good card is low. But Jason Kelsey, I went and did actual research Search. I went back to every past Madden that Jason Kelsey's been in. The lowest card Jason Kelsey has ever ended a Madden Ultimate team with is a 98. 98 is the lowest. Madden 22, he had a 98. Madden 21, he had a 99. Madden 20, he had a 99. If a player's gonna get a nasty card, I think it's gonna be Jason Kelsey. Not to mention, I have never prestiged offensive line, and I think it's actually a genius strategy that I've never employed because I'm an idiot. Having a locked-in, solid offensive line player is huge. I ran the ball a lot last season. And Jason Kelsey right now, yes, he's underwhelming. But this is my Hail Mary. I think he could get a nasty card. As for defense, Judon and Foyasada Luakon, I don't know. I think out of those, Judon probably could get a really good card. I could have gone Von Miller too, but I don't see him getting another card. And then Chase Young's injured right now. Now the second thing we need to talk about. You're looking at my defense right now. You're saying, Papa Meeks, you prestige Micah Hyde. Where is Micah Hyde? I'm doing another curveball crazy thing. I wanted to have a Bills player on the roster as a prestige. And that's why I chose Micah Hyde. And as you guys saw, Micah Hyde had a season-ending injury. So all of a sudden, the realisticness of Micah Hyde getting an upgrade in a Wheel of Mutt is slim to none. He's already got a champion card, and he won't play the rest of the season. So I went deep in the Wheel of Mutt handbook, the Wheel of Mutt rule book, and I looked for any note about an injured reserve slot. Can I take a prestige who instantly got injured, move him to IR, and get somebody new? And I looked in the back of the notebook, and the notebook said, Matt, you're an idiot. You made these fucking rules. You can do literally whatever you want. Very good point. Let me make sure I read that correctly. Matt, you make the rules. You can literally do whatever you want. Okay, it's settled. It's settled. Micah Hyde is no longer our prestige safety. I've never done this in the history of Wheel of Mutt. I'm doing it right now. So much has changed this season, but I'm going to try and iron it out and make it as amazing as I can. That's the only thing I care about. We initially had Pat Fryermuth as our power-up player, right? And then they dropped power-up legends. So I thought I'd go with a stealer. I thought our prestige player should be similar. You know who I'm thinking of right now? Our brand new prestige prestige player is Troy Palomalu. I thought this was an awesome prestige. It's still a safety. He's one overall higher than Micah Hyde, so really not that much better. And I didn't think it was too overpowered either. Since Palomalu just got this card, it's likely he won't get a card for at least another two, three promos. So he won't get an upgrade for a while, but I would say he is guaranteed 
another card. Insanely excited about this. I'm gonna give him Zone Hawk. I think he gets three AP Acrobat. Yeah, he does, which is awesome. And then what do we want to run on him here? He doesn't get Crusher, which is one of my favorite abilities. So that's unfortunate. Deep out zone KO is probably good. Right now we can afford deep out zone KO because there's no players on this team. But in the long run, I'll probably end up taking that off of him. I'm gonna go with the ultimate kickoff alternate art too. This is the Madden 10 cover Troy Palomalu. I think that goes a little bit harder. That's pretty dope, dude. I really like that. So Palomalu is the new prestige player. I really apologize if you guys loved Micah Hyde, but I had to make this decision. So now there's one final question you have. Micah Parsons looking like he's gonna be an amazing prestige. He's playing so well. He is due for a new card very soon. Palomalu, Jason Kelsey, and Justin Jefferson. Those are our prestige players. There's only one thing we're missing, and that's our power-up legend. And I'll tell you right now, my power-up legend is on offense. Take your guesses. Our power-up legend, another thing we've never done in Wheel of Mutt, is quarterback... Michael Vick. Woo! Dude, you know what's funny? I never use Michael Vick cards in Madden because it's so cliche to use them. But now it's been like three Maddens since I've used a Michael Vick. Like I have not used Michael Vick since like Madden 19. So all of a sudden, it's actually pretty exciting to use this. For those of you new to Wheel of Mutt or just need a refresher, each season I get a power-up player. And by completing a challenge per game, I can upgrade that player. Last season, our power-up player was Steve Atwater. Interception, force fumbles, sacks, and touchdowns got him an option to get an upgrade. It took us about five games, but we maxed them out. For quarterback, we have two options to get him an upgrade here. It is 300 total yards or three touchdowns. If he does both, he gets two upgrades. For example, Michael Vick could throw 250 yards and rush for 50. That's one upgrade. If in that same game, he also threw three touchdowns, that's two upgrades. If he does none of them, he stays right at the overall he's at. The first upgrade for Michael Vick just gives us access to his abilities, so it doesn't do anything for us. Second upgrade takes him to an 82. Third's an 84. Fourth is 86. Fifth is 88. And the sixth and final upgrade is this god tier 90 overall scrambling Michael Vick with 90 speed. It's going to be a huge difference from Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson sat in the pocket and honestly threw the ball pretty well. He did really good for a goal player. I've never done a power up quarterback before, so I'm insanely excited about it. Uh, and I think we're going to have a blast. Now, the real problem arises, which is my team sucks. Well, first things first for season two. In the Super Bowl of season Season one, I got a rage quit. That rage quit also meant I did not have a chance to complete my challenge wheel. So normally I do spin the rage quit wheel, but I'm not going to do that here. I think it's a little too strong at the start of the episode. So instead, I'm going to give myself one of any pack from the store. And finally, there is an awesome pack in the store for training. It's the Gridiron Guardians Elite Pack. You can only get one of them. So this thing is juiced. And hopefully it's going to kickstart a team a little bit here. So this pack guarantees 283 plus overall Gridiron Guardian players. So insanely excited about this. Happy we got our rage quit in the Super Bowl. Let's see if any of these players can help the squad. Sam Williams, slightly better right end to start us out. I like that a lot. Neville Hewitt. Carlton Davis. That is a playable corner. He can do something out there. Maybe that pack animation is nasty. Logan Wilson, right outside linebacker. Okay, Matt. Nope, you're not getting a touch at all. Can we get a big one? Can we get a big one, baby? Come on. Ow. EJ Speed, 83 speed, 6'4 middle linebacker. Hey, well, that's what we get for getting the Rage Quit in the Super Bowl. It's actually a pretty nice start. Carlton Davis can be a starting corner. That's huge. And uh, Sam Williams will get reps too. Those will pretty much be the only guys that get reps out of what we just got. So what we just added is the only players that are actually locked into this team. My wheel spins are only locked in if I win. All right, boys, that leads me into my first wheel spin for Wheel of Mod Season 2 Season Opener. Yeah, I said that right. Let's get it, baby. I'm excited. All right. I literally fumbled the bag on this challenge last season so hard. Completions before I go incomplete. We've got Michael Vick throwing and pretty much no one to throw two. So this will be an interesting one, but it's multiplied by 10K. All right, first wheel spin is speculative. We got to win the game or complete our challenge wheel and salvage it. But let's see what the set was. Oh, ah, ah! I did it last season too. I want that AK. Mm, I want that AK jackpot so bad. So there's going to be a lot of good options. Like Orlando Brown, I actually really like that, getting a left tackle. Uh, I have no tight end either, so Evan Engram isn't the worst option. In fact, I have almost none of these positions. DeForest Buckner would be pretty nice. Andres P. There's strong safety Cordero Patterson. Ooh, there's a Patrick Peterson. I feel like Patrick Peterson is probably the move. This is our best odds to win. Ooh. Damn, you're pretty good. There is a Justin Fields too, but I'm going Patrick Peterson. All right, Patrick Peterson. I like that call right there. All right, boys, our third and final wheel spin. I'll pretty much take whatever I can get. I can't really be picky here, so it is what it is. Oh, rerolls? 
I do love rerolls. Hey, on my Wheel of Mutt account, I've never pulled anything crazy on rerolls. But if you guys watched the video where I took a 69 overall team and built an 85 overall team in a week without spending any money. <laughs> Holy shit. There's a 79 plus Gridiron Guardian player pack. I get 10 rerolls. I can only take one player out of those 10. So wish me luck, gentlemen. Come on, baby. I don't know if there's a different animation for the big one, so I'm just gonna Holy assume everything's the same. Shit. Okay, that's not a bad pull at all. That's, I, I could totally use an 83 overall kicker. Derek Watt, okay. Just give me John, just give me Justin Herbo. Actually, I don't even want him. I want Mike Vick. Come on, baby. You know you wanna do it. Tyler Smith. Come on, baby. Come on. Four is Nick Williams, tough. Come on, it's, it's a season opener. Greedy Williams. I'm still taking the kicker. Out of what I've got right now, I'm taking the kicker, but that's not gonna be it. We're gonna get some heat. Pack shit! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's the limited! Alexa, suck my dick and balls! I just pulled DK Metcalf! Holy shit! Alexa! I'll, dude, Alexa, don't ruin my phone! He's worth 1.3 fucking mil! Are you kidding me? This is a reminder. Alexa? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Alexa, I've got a good read for you. Good recommendation. Check it out, bud. One, a wheel of my God in Madden 22. 91, oh my God. That's so crazy. He makes Justin Jefferson look like a bad wide receiver. We're gonna have a fucking wide receiver duo. Oh, I have to win. I have to win still. I hate to say this because that's such an insane pull and that just blows my mind. I actually just did that. But I don't need that position. I could get I could get away just fine with Justin Jefferson. There are other 91s. There's a chance if in these last, these are my final two right here. If in my final two, I get a position better, like an 88 in a different position, I might not take DK. No, I have to take DK. I'm so sorry, Justin Jefferson. That DK is better than you in every stat, and he's bigger. He's better in every fucking stat, and he's got two inches and like 30 pounds on him. All right, what abilities are we throwing on this DK Metcalf? Does he have a special ability bucket? Some players do in the fourth slot. He does. It's bulldozer or deep out. Oh, deep out elite. Absolutely. Uh, Double me. I'm going to give him red zone threat. I'm kind of going to use him like a tight end almost, because he's like, <laughs> he's not quite the size of a tight end, but he ain't too far off. It's a historic wheel him up pull right now. I have to win this game. If I lose this game, this historic wheel em up pole will literally go into infinity. And I have to go win this game with a 76 overall team. All right, defense, what are our abilities here? So Palomalu, Micah Parsons, and let's add something to Pat Pete, yeah? He could get pick artist. I think that's a little overrated as an ability, but I might not have a choice. I give him on the ball. I don't like getting ran on. I guess I'll give him pick artist. Going new units this season, the all Madden premium silver and the 99 club away. Let's we'll see what it's like. You know what's gonna come in insanely clutch is the challenge wheel. We never had to use this last season because we won every single game, but... If I lose and complete the challenge wheel, instead of spinning the wheel, I can salvage one player. So I think my, actually my main goal in this game should be to complete my challenge wheel. The challenge wheel has never been more important than it is right now. I need something doable. I need something doable. Triple crown? Oh no. Oh, actually, no, I can do that. I can do that. I can do this. Oh my God, I can do it with DK. The triple crown inspired by Cooper Cup is one receiver. One receiver must lead my team in yards, touchdowns, and receptions. So if for any of those stats that is not true, I don't get the award. He's got, oh, that actually is his team. I don't know his first player, but he's got Jay Jettis, Legereus Sneed, which is actually a pretty good sign if that's his top three. Because if that was like 91, 92s, I'm in trouble. Damn, I'm starting to realize these uniforms might not be a very good option. Like this? That's a little... No, Matt. Don't you, don't you fucking remember anything ever. Marcus Marigoda? What do you got? Hey, the last guy had Marigoda. Throw it here. Throw it here. You know you want to. You know you want to! Shit. Shit. Damn it. Why does that route always get me? I am literally incapable of stopping that route. Come on. Come on. Come on! Nice fucking playmaker. Damn, this guy's good. This actually could be a run play. That's where I get in trouble here. As if this is a run play. Let's go on Palomalu. God, I know what I- I know what I- I know my shit! Come on! I, I saw J.Dot Taylor and I knew the guy was white. I was like, that's not Jonathan Taylor, but it's Jim Taylor. Oh, I did not expect that. All right, hey, that's really good for triple count because a running back getting a touchdown doesn't affect me. I have to be the triple crown receiver in the game for my challenge. Jim Taylor, go ahead and take your touchdown. He did have some good passing yards to Randy Moss, though. Don't know what this is. I'm going to feel it out. Metcalf was kind of there. Not entirely, but kind of. Nice juke, Jay Jettas. One for 11, Jay Jettas. Got to be careful. Going DeAndre Swift here because it's too obvious of a pass. Oh, oh, but it's DeAndre Swift. Hey, I only lost two yards instead of five. I like Metcalf. 
after a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's sketchy, but it's a big boy. God, I love this Metcalf. We're gonna look for Jay Jettas on Saints Fork since this is my money play, basically. Wait for it, wait for the cut. There it is. He switched out of main coverage at the very right time. This guy's good. Wait. Oh, I just threw that to my fucking tight end. He was wide open. Oh, okay. So he went and used it, which is smart. I go, oh! He used it, I got scared. I had nothing at that point, and we turned the ball over. Tough. Now to make a big play on defense. Still gotta get DK a touchdown. No way, I didn't pick that! Ah! Run play, run play, run play. Palomalu. No way, I missed, and now it's these bums. I can get there. Oh, he doesn't throw it. Oh, bad ball, bad ball, bad ball! Pepe, let's go! What is he throwing? A nice stiff arm. I should have just kneeled that, but hey, we still got out to the 19. Nice job, Pat P. I can't really beat man coverage right now. It's just insanely difficult. Let's see what Metcalf looks like. Get down, get down, Swift. <laughs> I actually think that Metcalf might be able to. Get down, get down! <laughs> Michael Vick for seven. This is quite the offense here. Press coverage on Metcalf. Oh, I had Metcalf early. No! You see, Andre Swift might have 40 catching, bro. He's ass. Can I run the ball? Oh, DeAndre Swift got there. Let's go. Come on, D Swift. Nice catch. Hard cut. Nice job. Got to get Metcalf back up, though. Metcalf needs to be triple crown. It is non-negotiable. Oh, that's bad ball. No, it's not. I keep saying I got to throw Metcalf, and then I don't throw Metcalf. But if it ain't there, I can't throw it. Ooh, tough ball. Beautiful throw. <laughs> sticky, sticky, sticky. I'm, I'm sending a fucking bomb to Metcalf here. Let's go, Metcalf! Yes, sir! Touchdown, DK! He finally switches to a single coverage on DK. No safeties over the top. And he takes advantage. I'm going for two, dude. Let's go, DK. Wait, I can get that. It's a horrible ball. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, heater. Earn 17. I'm calling the timeout. Give me the ball back. He's going to throw Parham. Peel back to it. Interception. I don't even know who Hicks is. But go, baby. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. No. Homeless person. I was gonna have a field goal. Ah, who even is that? Who is Hicks? We can do this. All right, we can do this. God, I hate playing with Silvers. Oh, he keeps scum kicking his Andy Horvath. Dude, what a play though. He made literally the play. A field goal would have been huge right there. All right, I'm looking for Metcalf. Okay, super simple pass to Kokif. Is Metcalf still leading in receptions? Great pass, great pass, great catch. I'll, I'm gonna check the game stats here in a second. I think Metcalf underneath is good so long as he does edge rush. I'm gonna try Metcalf on the slant again. Great catch. Great play. All right, so now his user's on the left side. So I should be able to hit Jay Jettis here for a pretty easy one since he's just hovering Metcalf. Wait for it, bingo. Easy throw. <gasps> what? What do you mean? He's wide open. Oh, I'm so fucking tilted. I'm so tilted. Jay Jettas, I need you big time here, baby. Big time. Big time. Nope. He's coming out running the football. He wants to chew this clock out. I don't blame him. Nice cut. Hell of a cut right there. Come on. Throw something stupid. I know you want to. Monster play coming up here. Good stop. Fourth and four. Up by one point. Do you take your field goal? No, you don't. Get there! You got it. Now the run's coming back out. Palomalo, we just got to be there. It's a left or right side stretch. I don't know which. Oh, right at the middle. I respect it. Ain't going nowhere, though. Good. Good. Come on! Come on! This is for limited DK Metcalf. <laughs> Hell of a play. Donald Parham gets touched down. He can just PAT it. I'm down by eight. So got to score and got to actually get my two-point conversion. Dude, that field goal at halftime when I fumbled on the return, that would have been so big. 
I'm just gonna give him the single coverage. Oh. Ooh, he's got double me activated. He's gotta bail out for Metcalf because that is such a threat. That's a walking touchdown. He didn't commit to it. Good. It's freeing up Jay Jettas underneath. Let's get rid of this one. I had Justin Jefferson over the middle. Oh wait, shit, did I just lose double me for that? I rarely activate it. I forgot how I could lose it. Tough. Okay, well, he's wide open here, so let's just take it. <gasps> oh, break that tackle for a touchdown, Metcalf. Oh, Metcalf touchdown, unless he's over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Metcalf! Let's go! Triple crown is held right now, but we must go for two and we must get it. I'm staying five wide. It might be Coquifed, bro. I'm going Justin Jefferson on a slant. He's not going to see it. He's looking at everything else. Wait for it. Wait for it right there. What a catch! Tie me up! What do you mean by that? <laughs> Tie me up! That came out way. It didn't come out how I wanted. I don't care! Tie me up! Tie me up! 14 to 14! Come on! Overcommitted. I overcommitted. Big hit. <sighs> no. Halfback? Yes. I don't have the firepower to contain him right now. Especially if he runs the ball. Oh, please don't. Yeah, it's okay. Whoa! My ball! Come on! I said I'm gonna earn it. I'm gonna earn it. I'm literally seeing stars. Oh, Jay Genesis is gonna torch his man. Window. Fucking window. Metcalf has a corner route. Jay Jettas. Ronnie Lott right in my face. I'm calling the timeout. Third and one. I'm not in field goal range yet. I'm going the exact same play, and I'm going to throw the corner route to Metcalf. I think it's a good predetermined, though, because look at that. Look at Ronnie Lott. He's got to come down here to respect Jay Jettas. Wait a minute. I don't know what to do here. I can't beat him in overtime. I think Metcalf corner route. That's our play here. Actually, no, Metcalf slant. Got him. Please tell me forward progress. Yes! We got it! Metcalf corner route. Put me in range. Come on, Metcalf. You got him. Oh, he did. Metcalf actually got him. I was scared of throwing it and throwing an INT. And now I'm in a position where I have to hail Mary. That's fine. Look at Ronnie Lott. I'll hail Mary this to DK. It's touchdown or bust. Oh my God. <laughs> I should have thrown the corner out the DK there, but if you looked at the coverage, it looked like it was fully clamped. DK just broke out of the route and, and tor torched his guy. So probably should have done it, but I didn't. He won the toss. All right, we need a turnover. We have successfully gotten a lot of turnovers. So it's going to run the ball. I do the same thing. Great hit, Micah. He might have just not gotten it because of that. Yep, third and inches. I expect him to run this. I'm going to bring Palomalu down for the run. Oh, he didn't run it. I'm in trouble. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Think, dude. He literally could have bombed a touchdown on me. I pulled Palomalu out of the fucking safety spot. Could still run the football. He doesn't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, man? We had two guys up there, but it was two bombs, dude. Palomalu was nowhere to be seen there. That was like... Tariq Castro Fields and I don't even know who. Happy again! Oh, I'm on the one. That's so bad. Please don't let me lose to safety, boys. I could throw DeAndre Swift if he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Good catch. Oh. Metcalf. Yes, sir. I haven't ran Saints 4 too much today. This is like one of my favorite plays. I like Shakir. Oh! Uh -huh. Oh my god, that is the literal worst way to lose a game! Khalil Shakir is Y, and this is X. I legitimately don't know what route DeAndre Swift runs here. I'm trying to throw this ball to Khalil Shakir. Throw hold, so throwing Y right here. Right here, I throw Y, hold X to rack it and run up the middle of the field. And look what he does. Throws X. Horrible fucking ball. That wasn't even close to him, even if it was supposed to be. I, honest to God, though, I don't care. I don't. I, what I needed was a triple crown, and guess what, baby? Guess what? The most receptions, the most yards, and the most touchdowns out of any single receiver in the entire game. In fact, the only competition I had was with myself. Seven for 86, Justin Jefferson. Parham had one touchdown, so I had to beat that out for sure. And he must have had a defensive touchdown there at the end. That's so unlucky, but I'm not even, I'm literally not molding about that. I get to salvage DK Metcalf here, so he stays on the team. He said, your Wi-Fi is ass, bros gay too. 
It's kind of funny. Did he know? Or is he just being rude? Hey, congratulations, Alpha. You successfully, in overtime, beat a 76 overall team with your God Squad. Here's what happens now. I take my loss, and I have to remove everyone except using my challenge wheel to salvage. I'm hanging on to DK Metcalf. Wow, he was insane, too. He was making some nasty mosses. He's such a beast. Uh, the only other player I added, actually, was Patrick Peterson, because my first wheel spin was completions before incomplete. That didn't happen, because I literally threw incomplete to DeAndre Swift on the very first play of the game. So, Patrick Peterson was actually insane, too, so it really sucks to lose him, and if I didn't have DK Metcalf, he'd probably be the player I'd salvage but unfortunate. I'm proud. I think we earned a DK Metcalf. We also got a loss, which sucks, you know. We keep DK Metcalf. And who knows? Even if I'd thrown to the right person on that play, I wasn't guaranteed a touchdown. I still had to get all the way down the field. Love you, boys. Insane first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a blast to record. This was so much fun. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!